here's a quick video showing you how to get a standalone setup happening with Mio XM or Mio XL. In this example, I'm going to say that I have a USB keyboard plugged into one of the host ports and I want to send that main master keyboard to all my other simps and different devices connected in the studio. So I'm going to send to a few host ports, I'm going to send to a few of my DIN ports. So I'm just going to kind of show you how you would set that up. I'm going to use the uh, Mio XM008 here uh, to show you that. And so basically this is uh, Oracle for X series. So we're going to set it all up in here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to reserve our host devices. Um, I don't have any SIMS connected up to this guy right now, but I do have a few keyboards and controllers. So I'm going to say that the M-Audio code is the first device that I want. So you just use these drop downs over here to reserve the device. Uh, port 1 is the port that I want to use. Depending on the device, you may need a different port. Um, you'll have to take a look at the manual for that device that you have connected. Uh, I know for my most keyboards, it'll be port 1. Uh, for some devices like um, launch pads, I know they're port 2 on those guys. So Then I've also reserved in a few other devices. They're just controllers, but these could be SIMS in your case. So I've put in the uh, Axiom Air Mini 32 and the LPD8. So now that we have those devices reserved, uh, we're going to go over to your MIDI routing. You could actually name those devices. Um, so if we went under our host here, we could rename these guys. So I could call that code and I could call my other devices. And then say we had a few and it's in here. So I have a monologue over on my desk um, and you can just keep renaming these devices. But let's show you how to actually make these connections happen. So here's the code. Um, and this is the default routing for it right here. But what we want to do is we can leave these guys um, because they're not important. We're not really going to the computer. We don't have to worry about these guys. But for the DIN, uh, we're going to want to add a monologue. And then say we had something on DIN 2, we're going to add to DIN 2. And we'll add DIN 3. Um, and say we wanted to go to a synth on host 2 and a synth on host 3. So we're just going to add all those devices. So what this means is that the code which is our master keyboard, is going to go to all your DIN ports over here. I didn't add DIN 4. Uh, and then it's also going to go over to the host instruments that I've selected. And you can select as many as you want. And that is the quickest, easiest way to kind of get that going. Um, and you can do this for, it doesn't have to be, you know, the USB device as the main device. Any can be the main device. Um, so if I wanted to, I could have went to, I'm just going to get rid of this routing here. Um, I could have said the monologue is my master. Not that I would want a small keyboard like that, but you could pick the monologue and then go and start adding the DIM ports. So the monologue would then send to all these DIM ports and you could start selecting all your keyboards and the host ports. So that's one way to set it up. Um, that's a quick way to get your your standalone happening right away. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know.